morning. Good morning from the Bullock County Historical Society. Hope you're having a great morning. Today's tidbit, which is tidbit number 48, is brought to you by my dear friends, Ralph Coward at Southern Manor, cousin John Lane at Statesboro Bank, and Mike Herndon and his lovely family at Statesboro Agency. Thanks y'all. One of our oldest and most recognizable projects is erecting very fine historical markers throughout Bullock County, and in some cases, areas that used to be Bullock County. We erected a marker for Excelsior and one for Pulaski, towns in Candler County that were originally in Bullock. As of July the 8th, 2021, BCHS has erected 26 historical markers. That is very, very nice. Due to accidents and climate effects, we have refurbished or replaced 10 markers. So our committee has installed 36 markers to date. Soon we will be removing the marker for Burkhalter Road and Indian Trail and the Middle Ground Primitive Baptist Church marker, which we restored for this congregation. These markers must be stored while a roundabout is installed for Harville and Langston Chapel Roads. I tell you all of this because all of our markers must be tied to a legal easement document from the property owner. That's step one. Each marker costs about $4,500. This includes the hand cast marker with 24 karat gold lettering, a customized logo, the seven foot aluminum post, shipping, and the installation. CY Studios in Marietta, Ohio uh, is a foundry that makes these for our society. I'm told we have ordered more markers than any other local historical society in the entire country. Congratulations to us. The original co-chairs of this committee were Thomas Anderson of Portal and my husband, Bill Waters. Bill and I miss Thomas greatly. I want to personally thank Bill for taking on this huge task, being chairman of this committee. He has done lots of hole digging, mixed many pounds of cement, inspected all of these markers on a very regular basis, and he's put up with me on this project. Markers are developed and researched for, for places and important events in Bullock County. We do not do markers for churches nor for people as we could never fulfill the request we would receive for these. Currently, three markers are being developed, which include Ada Bell, Georgia, Dr. Harvey Van Buren's Hospital, and Pretoria Pretorius Station. Our very first marker was entitled United States versus Darby Lumber Company. It tells the story of the United States Supreme Court's 1941 decision involving labor laws and the lumber industry. Darby Lumber Company was on this site along the Willie McTell Trail on Zetterau Avenue. This marker had an accident with a lawnmower and it has been replaced. The second marker we researched was Willow Hill School and Community, which honors this African American community located near US Highway 80 and Willow Hill Road, very close to Portal, Georgia. Former slaves began this community and also the school. Due to the accidents, this marker has been replaced twice. So as of today, Willa Hill has gotten three markers. The third marker was to honor the wishes of Frank Saunders and Thomas Anderson, and it's entitled Old Portal. Both of these men were devoted members of the Bullock County Historical Society, and I miss both of them. It is located off U.S. Highway in downtown Portal and tells of the first town named Portal, which is a few miles north of its present location. 
Marty Waters helped to research the marker for Neville Station and the Sherwood Railroad. The marker has recently been refurbished due to climate changes. It is located at the intersection of Neville's Denmark Road and the Neville's Groveland Road in downtown Neville's, Georgia. It tells of the highway coming through here and uh, how that they shipped out watermelons from here and shipped in guano for the county. The next marker was for Brooklyn, Georgia and it's located in downtown Brooklyn. It has also recently been refurbished. A refurbishing cost around $800, which includes shipping to and from CY Studios. This marker on Brooklyn tells the history of the town that was first known as Nailwood. The sixth marker for, was for Statesboro High School and it's located in front of the school on what used to be Lester Road and is now Coach Hill Boulevard. It explains how in 1890, our citizens built the first school in the city of Statesboro. The Savannah and Statesboro Railway Market is located on the bike trail that follows this old train bed and begins off Gentilly Road. This railway linked local farmers and merchants to other railways serving our nation. Another marker honoring a school is for the First District Agricultural and Mechanical School, and it was placed directly in front of the administrative offices at Georgia Southern on Sweetheart Circle. It honors Statesboro's efforts in securing a regional high school in 1906 which has now become the third largest university. Let's conclude this tidbit on historical markers discussing marker number 13, which is entitled The Fabulous 50 of 1906. It is located right beside City Hall and tells of the 50 men from Bullock County that won the state's offer slash bid to build a school for our congressional district right here in Statesboro. I'm proud to say that my great grandfather, Jason Franklin, was one of the 50 men. All of our markers are located on our website. Here you can find the exact text and the exact location. Devoted BCH board member and past president Rodney Harville has taken a picture of each marker and also given us its location coordinates. Just type in Bullock County Historical Society and that will take you to our website, which is bullockhistory.com. Under the tab, What We Do, there will be a pull down for historical markers. This site even has the date that each marker was dedicated. Today we've talked about half of our markers. Stay tuned for part two. Bye.